So coming to the common carotid artery, the common carotid artery are two. That is left and the right common carotid artery. The left common common carotid artery originates from the aorta, and the right common carotid artery originates from the brachiocephalic artery. So the common carotid artery is enclosed by the carotid sheath, and now the it begins from the thorax that is behind the manubrium center of the manubrium ascends upward in the behind the sternocle sternoclavicular joint and enters to the neck and now in the neck it divides into the anterior uh, the external and the internal carotid artery at the level of the upper border of the thyroid cartilage that is 3c3 and c4 vertebra now what are the relations the anterior relation so first coming the medial relation so medially there is trachea esophagus thyroid gland and larynx these all will be medially to the the common carotid artery <clears throat> laterally there is internal jugular vein laterally there will be internal jugular vein posterior laterally there will be vagus nerve posterior laterally there will be vagus nerve in both sides Anteriorly, there is a crossed by the superior belly of the omohyoid at the level of precoit. At the level of precoit, so there is thyroid gland. So, at the level of the precoit, the thyroid cartilage below there is the precoit. So, at the level of the precoit, that is before the bifurcation, there is a it is crossed by superior belly of the omohyoid. Now, below the omohyoid, the artery is deeply covered by the sternocleidomastoid strap is always there so sternocleidomastoid strap anterior jugular vein sternohyoid sternothyroid and the middle thyroid vein so what are the structures that is <coughs> sternocleidomastoid sternocleidomastoid muscle second is the anterior jugular vein anterior jugular vein third is sternohyoid sternohyoid muscle sternothyroid muscle sternothyroid muscle and middle thyroid vein middle thyroid vein so these are locating located below the sternocleidomastoid and the common carotid artery posteriorly what are the structures the vertebra the c3 the c4 c8 vertebra and at the muscles which are attached to the anterior tubercle like longus cavity sclenius anterior those muscles are present the posteriorly as well as there is the inferior thyroid artery which is also posterior because thyroid gland is medially behind that inferior thyroid artery vertebral artery and the left side there will be thoracic duct so these are all present posteriorly so this is all about common carotid artery.